Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Montana Story. And this is a new drama from writer-directors Scott McGahey and David Siegel, and focuses on two estranged siblings played by Haley Lou Richardson and Owen Teague, who come together on their family ranch as their father is dying and is on care with Gilbert Oder, who plays Ace, who is this caretaker who's taking care of their father and over the course of this film they peel back the layers of all the trauma that pushed these two siblings away and kind of fractured their family as they're trying to heal those fractures over their father's deathbed and this film is a drama but it's also a neo-western it really captures the beauty of this big sky country of Montana. The direction and the cinematography is able to really utilize the landscape to give a big, sprawling, epic kind of feel to this emotionally intimate story, and that adds some layers to it. And this isolation, this big open spaces, really helps with the feeling of these two young siblings who are a distance from each other. And I think what's something very interesting about this film is until they make a couple of very specific lines of dialogue, this feels like a timeless kind of story. It could have taken place in any time. Until they started talking about like Verizon and Venmo and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, so this is definitely a modern time. <laughs> But up until that point, it's like you really could have just been, this is a story that transcends period. It's a timeless setting to the film, and it does take its time. There is, this is almost a two-hour film. It really does soak in the landscape. It soaks in the little moments, and it might not be as energy-filled for many people as it is for others. I didn't find too many issues with it. And in general, this is a very classy, really refined film. It's so well made. It's so well shot. This definitely reaches up to that Bleecker Street kind of aesthetic of this is some classy cinema you're watching. And it's very dramatic. And, you know, these two main characters here, Cal and Aaron, they have a lot of baggage, and they have a lot of layers to their stories. And there is conflict between these two characters. They don't see eye to eye on, say, how to deal with this one particular horse. Do you euthanize the horse? Do you try what whatever it takes, even taking it to New York City, to try to make sure that you can keep it alive? And really, Owen Teague and Haley Lou Richardson are the anchors to this film. They have such deep and emotionally resonant performances that really capture the audience's attention and hooks you in to the emotional wavelengths of the film. Because this is a deeply moving and emotional experience. And this film is so well done, the acting so strong. You have even Gilbert Awar, who plays the nurse, he has some strong moments and like he's kind of like a bit of like a cliche kind of character like he's an outsider coming in just spreading some wisdom so like that might not be the most original idea and I'm not saying like this film is like boldly and unique in its narrative but what it does is take on some very important and impactful and dark themes and confronts them in a meaningful and passionate way and the film is able to find the emotion in those scenes there's very emotional scenes throughout this film especially as we climb towards our climax of the film there's definitely some tension and suspense especially as things come to a head when it comes to taking care of their father and one particular evening where you know a lot of the threads of the film come together and they feel like they are resolved in a meaningful and earnest kind of way that feels genuine. And I think that's this film, it does feel very genuine and you have good supporting acts like Kimberly Guerrero, Eugene Brave Rock, Esavak, uh, Kustachin, 
who play some of the other members of the family and some people around town. This is really well acted, really well put together, and a really fine drama that brings plenty of emotion and some important messages to the forefront on this beautiful Montana landscape. The title of this movie really, really captures it. I definitely would recommend. But those are my thoughts on Montana Story. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.